Hello, this is Mike Green, otherwise known as Doggy from the New Tech Lightwave forums. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to use my Layers MC script. Um, if I press button, I've got it assigned to a hotkey. And you can see that this is the panel. We've got display, render, and select layers. Um, so display is for controlling the OpenGL view. Render is for creating um, very basic render passes and select is for making um, hot keyable selection sets. Now let's just see how this works. Let me select a couple of balls and then add those to a layer. You see it's two items added to layer display one. Um, select a couple of lights say and add those to a layer. And we'll just select a box. Now if we hit hide you can say hidden, bounding box, turning bounding boxes apart from the lights which obviously have on or off toggles vertices, faces, shaded, and at least not have any textures on. And it tells you what state they're in in the layer list. And that's the layer name, so that's display one. Uh, you have four buttons down here, which are objects, bones, lights, and cameras. So if you've got a layer selected, you can hit that and it will select the items in that layer, or the lights in that layer, say. If you click lock, it'll lock that layer and so if you try to select items within that uh, layer, it won't allow you to. You can toggle it unlocked. Uh, down here you've got a little bit of a help menu just to show you, just to tell you what's what. Uh, down here you've got add to layer and remove from layer. And then here you've got a layer menu. So let's just have a quick look at that. Create new layer rename layer, view contents of layer, so if you bring that up you can see uh, and click on the items in your layer um, you know, and you can remove those items from your layer so you can do that. Um, you've got find layer of selected item, so if you select a ball it'll tell you which layer that item's in. Uh, you've got Choose our instance name. Uh, because you can have multiple panels um, in layout, you can give each one a different instance name. Uh, and edit item selection hotkeys. This is quite fun. Uh, you can choose different hotkeys to be assigned to particular layers. Uh, and it has to be item types because you can't set more than one item type in layout. So just assign that. And we'll assign that to the lights. And now if I have the layer panel selected and press Shift A, it brings up, it selects the bot uh, balls. If I press Shift B, it selects the lights. Very handy. Um, if you've got more than, uh, you can also clear layer items from scene, which is very dangerous. Um, you can delete selected layers, so you can uh, just remove those from your layer lists. Uh, and then if you have two sets of panels um, and you want to copy the data from one to another, uh, which most will happen when you're using load from scene, uh, you'll get two panels if you've already got one in the scene. Um, you can copy the data from one um, layer panel to the other one and then save the scene again and it'll be all match up. So you can copy selected layers, you can copy all the layers and you can paste the layers. You can even save um, select layers and save all layers and load layers. So if you've got two scenes which are identical but one has layers in them and the other one doesn't have layers set up in them, you can copy that layer set up from one to the other. Um, and there you go, that's the uh, the little layers panel at the bottom. Um, so as I say you can flip between different view modes which is very handy. You can have say your background items in one layer and your hero items in other layers. Um, and then you've got your render layers. Now these are more pertinent to um, your meshes because it controls the mesh toggles, uh, the mesh render toggles. Um, so for instance if I add that to a layer and then toggle unseen by camera so that makes it an X. Uh, if we have a look at it in the viewport camera and then do a render, you can see that the balls are not rendered while the boxes are. 
let's just add another layer. Uh, we'll call that boxes. And we'll select the box layer. And we'll add those boxes to that layer. Uh, so now you have uh, two boxes. And uh, you can, can you, you've got your two layers with two controls on them. Now, what this but two buttons down here do is this save render scenes and save single scene. Uh, save render scenes will uh, save each scene, each layer, its own scene, and it will turn off all the items that aren't in that um, layer and set them to unseen by camera. It won't toggle anything else, so you'll still get shadows, you'll still get reflections and things from those invisible items on your render layer, but you'll only get the actual um, items in that layer rendered. Uh, and It'll go through every layer and do and save out a scene for that, so it's um, just a little uh, render pass thing you can set up. Uh, and it will also save a default scene which has all the items not actually in a render layer. So anything that's not been assigned a render layer, it will save that as a default scene. Uh, you've also got save single scene, so if you want to you can just save a single scene out from one of the layers. Uh, so let's just try that, shall we? And it's um, gone save render scene. So if we just save this scene then load in scene. If we go to layer, which is where it saves them in a, a sub directory of the scenes directory, you can hear test one boxes, test one default, test one render. So that's the one with everything else in it. Uh, we've assigned all items to boxes and render though, so if we just load this up and then bring up the panel for the the balls. Um, so render here, you can see this has got all its toggles on, it's got unseen by camera not on, so you can see it. And if we click this one, you can see it's got unseen by camera set for it. So that gives you uh, your basic render layer setup. If I bring that up again, you can see it's got the render layers in here as well. Let's just load the original scene. Uh, so you can set those layers to be rendered on your render farm and it will give you a very basic uh, render layer path. Um, so there you go. Uh, select, obviously it's just the same as the other two uh, things, except these two you can only have an item belonging to one layer within those uh, layer lists, whereas select you can have an item belonging to as many selection sets as you want to, so you could have your hand as a selection set, or just the finger, or and the fingers as a separate selection set. So, uh, yeah, you, uh, if you move an item from one layer to another, or to assign it to another layer, it will move it from that. It won't leave it in the original layer. It'll only exist in one layer. Uh, and I think that's about it. I hope you've uh, found some use. <laughs>